Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayyid. In this episode we are going to learn two functions, random between and date function. During my last video I said this to you, that I will come back with a video that would help you to generate random dates and random numbers. This is the video I was talking about. To follow along with me, download this workbook using the link in the video description. There are five worksheets in this workbook. The first three is where I will demonstrate and the last two, practice zone 1.1 and practice zone 1.2 are for you to practice. Let us begin. In the first sheet where it says random numbers, I will try to generate few sales figures. I really do not care about what numbers are they going to be. This is purely for practice. You can generate random numbers for any other purpose. Our focus in this video is to generate few random numbers to practice. Alright, let me go ahead and select the cell B2. And in this cell, let me start typing in the function random between. While doing that, you may also notice there is another function that will pop up on the list that is R, A and D. This function is designed to return numbers between 0 and 1. That is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1. You may try that function, try exploring that function on your own in case if you get stuck, don't worry. Drop in a line in the comments of this video and I will help you with that. I'm leaving that function for you to practice. Let us go ahead and select RAN between using the mouse arrow key and press tab on the keyboard to complete that function. This function takes in two parameters, bottom and top. Bottom is the smaller number and top is the bigger number. Where do you want the numbers to start from? Say, I would like them to start from 1, 1, 1, 1. And where do you want the numbers to end? 9, 9, 9, 9. So I would like all the numbers to be between these two figures. That is, starting from 1, 1, 1, 1 and going up to 9, 9, 9, 9. Any number between these numbers randomly. So let me press enter on my keyboard that's the random number. Let me get rid of these decimal points. Now all I need to do is drag this across and drag this down. See that we have perfectly generated random numbers. Here is a quick catch. The moment I make any changes in the workbook, even if I just type in a letter inside my workbook and press enter. See what happens in, the, in this section. Notice closely. All the numbers change. Every time anything you perform inside this workbook, these numbers would change. They get refreshed. If you close the workbook and open it back, you will notice the numbers would change again. How can I make sure that these numbers do not change again? Let me do that. All we need to do is copy these numbers, control C, paste them back, control V, and in this control handle, select values only. There we go. Now they will not change because we do not have the formula anymore in these cells. So this is how we generate random numbers. Now let us take a look on how to generate random dates. Let's go to the sheet random dates 1.1. In the sheet I have two columns and a start date and end date cells. Say I would like to generate dates between certain dates. For example, let's say I would like to generate dates between 23rd of November 2006 and 24th of December 2017. Now let me go ahead and select this cell and in this cell I will type in random between function and in the bottom number I will select this cell that is the starting date since the starting date is smaller than the ending date. So before I 
insert comma let me make this cell as an absolute reference pressing the F4 on the keyboard will make this cell an absolute reference that means if I drag this formula down the value D3 will not switch to D4 or D5 or D6 it will remain on D3 so this is how we lock it on D3 now press comma on your keyboard and select the top number press F4 again to make this one an absolute reference and close the bracket press enter on your keyboard now this is a number format of date let me change it to date go ahead select that drop down in the number group and select short date there we go now if I drag this down I have all other contract start dates generated for me randomly between 23rd of November 2006 and 24th of December 2017 to ensure that these dates do not change each time you make any change in Excel press Ctrl C while these cells are selected to copy them and press Ctrl V to paste them back in the same place and click on the control handle here select paste values only this will remove the formula and you will have these dates retained no matter what you do unless you delete them all right so this is how we generate dates between two dates using random between let me quickly show you what happens if I do not use the absolute reference just to ensure that you gain the clarity about it I select this cell type in random function again ran between start date I select this one this time I am not locking them using the F4 key I press comma I select this date and close the bracket and press enter on the keyboard now I have a date that is randomly generated let me switch it to the date format now see what happens if I drag this down see that we do not have the right dates here because the cells are referring to blank area let me show you how if I press F2 on the keyboard while this cell is selected notice what is being referred there it is actually referring to D4 and E4 similarly if I select this cell it is referring to D5 and E5 if I simply press control and that little tilde symbol on the keyboard that is somewhere below the escape key on the keyboard it will show me the formulas that are used in that cell see that the moment I'm switching it is showing me the cells it is referring to so it is actually referring to the blank area whereas if we've locked them let me try this one more time this time we will try absolute reference again before I do that let me toggle back to my normal view by pressing the control tilde symbol again and this time random between start date F4 on the keyboard to lock it then end date and F4 on the keyboard to lock it and close the bracket now if I drag this down you will notice I will have perfectly generated random numbers this is the reason why we have used the absolute reference. I hope you will find this reference very helpful while doing other calculations inside Excel. Now let us go ahead and try generating some random dates using the date function. Date function comes in very handy when you would like to take three separate values and combine them to form a date. Let's take a look. Here I will generate random year numbers using the RAND between function and I would like to say generate years between 1990 and 2010 close the bracket press enter track this down I have random years now I need random months so again rand between bottom number 
starting from 1 going up to 12 months press enter now drag this down and here in day I will simply select ran between and I want dates from say 2 to 28 press enter and drag this down now we have randomly generated years months and days now using these numbers let me generate dates using the date function now equal to date this function takes three parameters year month and a day so in the years I will pass this one comma in the month I will pass the month cell by clicking on that cell comma in the day I will select the day cell that is D2 close the bracket press enter there we go we have randomly generated date now let me track this down you can see all the numbers are changing every time we are making any shift in Excel so let me go ahead and select these randomly num generated numbers press Control C on the keyboard and Control V to paste them back on the same position and this time select values only now this should not change we have generated this date using a date function and the separate values presented in three different columns for year month and day how about trying the same thing using a nested function if you recall from your past learning we have discussed nested functions in a separate video if you have not seen that video I recommend that you go ahead watch the video and come back because nested functions might be a little confusing so here we go we start typing in date function in the year area I will type in random between function this is a function inside a function so I need dates between 1990 to 2010 close the random function notice the selection of year is still bold now after I insert the comma you can see the selection has shifted to month now I need to pass in the month values so random between 1 and 12 now it will shift to day the moment I insert a comma see that now I need random between 2 comma 27 close the bracket this is the bracket of random between now I need to close the bracket for date function now before I press enter let me tell you what is happening here we have used the date function and inside date we have called random between three times the first time we have called random between is to pass the value for year between 1990 and 2010 the second time we have called the random between is to pass the value for the months that is from 1 to 12 and the third time we are passing random between function to pass the value for days that is from 2 to 27 after that we have closed the date function now if I press enter you will notice a perfectly generated date appears there we go now all I need to do is drag this down to generate other dates on that list so this is how we generate dates using random between function and the combination of date function I am sure you are getting a hold of it do not worry in case if you get stuck all you need to do is give it a try one more time watch the video one more time in case if you're still confused come back drop a line in the comment section below I will help you with that now that we are done with this I would like you to practice in the practice zone in the practice zone 1.1 sheet I would like you to generate years months days using the random between function and based on these values I would like you to generate a date using the date function and in the last column that is column F I would want you to generate 
date using the nested functions based on the same criteria that is years should fall between 1960 and 2006 and month should fall between March and November the days should fall between 1 and 29 now if you go to practice zone 1.2 sheet here I would want you to read the instruction carefully follow that and try producing the results I'm sure you will find it really interesting and would do something creative in the next video we will see weekday function so do not miss it it will help us determine the day of the week. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. To continue learning, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to continue receiving notifications of new videos.